In this video, we will be discussing the JDLink dashboard tool. We will cover what it is, why it should be used, and how to use it. What is it? JDLink dashboard gives users the ability to view machine information such as engine hours, location, machine data, and alerts. Why should you use it? JDLink dashboard can be used to manage fleets of machines. It allows you to view machine location to manage where machines are located and the history of where the machines have been. It also allows you to view machine data to lower operating costs by managing machine hours, fuel consumption, and machine operation. How do you use it? Before starting, you want to make sure you are viewing the correct organization or organizations. To do so, click in the top right corner and choose the organizations you want to view. To reach JDLink dashboard while on other tools, click the tools icon in the top left of the screen and scroll down to or search for JDLink dashboard. You'll see a map with a list of machines and their pins to the left. Starting in the top left, you can filter the machines you want to view by different criteria. If you happen to know the serial number, make, type, or model of the machine you want to find or view, you can search for it using the search bar to the right of the filter icon. You have a few different filter options when clicking the filter icon, such as all machines within a certain mile range of your current location. If left untouched, there is no default mile range and will show all machines within the organization, sorted by distance from the user's current location. The other filters can help narrow down the results all the way from very general, such as make, to type, and to more specific, such as model. Once you've set your filters, you can choose the machine you want from the list on the side or from the map. A little piece of advice, filtering through machines will help locate specific machines faster than browsing through the list or map. Once a machine is selected, information and statistics of the machine will appear as well as the location of the machine. You can favorite the machine by clicking the star in the top right corner or from the equipment list. If at any point you wish to search for other machines, simply click the X in the top right of the machine card. The pin number, organization, and direction of the machine appear at the top of the left panel. By clicking on the direction, you will be taken to detailed directions to the machine. Next, you can choose the date range of information you'd like to see. Keep in mind the date range can only span 30 days at this time and will expand in the future. Next, machine details are displayed including alerts within the selected date range, current engine hours, and current fuel level. By clicking on alerts, you can view specific alerts for the selected machine. Clicking on engine hours will take you to a log of engine hours over the selected date range. Next, you can view machine hours of operation. This will give you a timeline of when the machine was turned on, off, or a JDLink connection was unavailable. Only a week's time is shown, but it can be expanded to the full 30 days by clicking Show All at the bottom. Under Machine Health, you can view a quick snapshot of machine information such as fuel tank level, average fuel rate, and many others. Each one will display a graph on the information. If you wish to view more or all of the information, simply click View All Data. This will take you to the ultimate data page that will display machine information from different categories pertaining to the machine. Here you can select a new date range for the machine information in the top left corner. The summary or details of this information can also be exported as a CSV file to be viewed in Excel or PDF. 